Now, he's rolled a success fronting children's TV programmes and Stephen Mulhern has been a staple of Saturday night telly ever since. Indeed, if you've been watching Half Past Six on Saturday nights on ITV, you will have seen him keeping you on the edge of our seats with the latest series of Rolling In It. <laughs> Stephen, oh. uh, congratulations Congrats, with yeah. that. Thank you. Addictive. It is addictive, and you know this, Eamon, with game shows. If you get a format where the contestants are on the edge of their seats, but more importantly, the viewers are, you know it's going to work. And hosting it is a dream because, genuinely, I get so nervous for them. Because the basic idea of the show, for those that haven't seen it, is that we have three contestants and three celebrities that help them out. There's 15 questions. At the end of the 15 questions, whoever's got the most amount of money gets to roll one gold coin. And if you get it in a win slot, you take the money home. You get it in a loose slot, you're walking away with nothing, what not even thing? a goodie bag. That's brutal. It is brutal, but it's brilliant. <laughs> um, and it seems to just be storming it at the moment. And, yeah, you mentioned about tomorrow it's on at 6.30, which is a bit yeah. of an earlier time. You say that the celebrity is helping. I mean, yeah. do they help? Well, you know when you have a celebrity and they, they, sometimes it could be a jolly, you know, to go on a game show and you just go, oh, everything's going to be great, everything's <laughs> going to be lovely. On this, you see celebrities literally tense because it's their job to genuinely help members of the public. And if somebody's playing or rolling for £60,000, and it's happened on this series where a celebrity goes, I think you should go for it. And they're going, but it's a bit too much, it's a bit too... Let's pass. And they go, look, go for it. Have, have courage in your conviction. And they do. Mm -hmm. And they're swayed by the celebrity. And they lose it. You go, and the celebrities are mortified, and rightly so. I would, I would hate to be a contestant on it. Well, you've got Rob Beckett, yep. my fellow loose woman, Brenda Redwood. Who's amazing. Who's amazing, yeah. hoot, and a great fun. Yeah. Um, Jordan North, happy place, happy place. Yes. Jordan. Yeah. Um, can you give us any well, indication of I how they've I, done? Well, Rob Beckett doesn't look as silly as he makes out. <laughs> He's actually quite intelligent. <laughs> and um, he, he plays the game very tactfully yeah. um, tomorrow night. Jordan North, again, he said he felt physically sick. Because of his <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, he's got a tendency there, <laughs> yeah. hasn't he? And Brenda, well, Brenda, you know this, look, she's you know, very yeah. supportive, but, of course, those coins have got a mind of their own. You can't control these coins. You can't control so them there's no team. skill, really, is there? The, the only skill is in answering the questions. When it comes to the coin, people think they can yeah. guide the launcher, but, uh-uh, you wait and see. And also, they're bankrupt. There's a bankrupt lane, there's a steel lane. So you lane. could have big money and then literally roll into bankrupt. And lose it. And once you've got to roll, you've got to roll. And also, if you've got to steal the money, it's not like a nasty steal because you haven't meant to roll it in the steel slot, <laughs> but obviously yeah. people do steal big. Still stealing. But yeah. look, there must be nothing like the feeling. We, we talked about going bankrupt, but actually winning. And knowing that it's going to someone for whom it'll just mean so much. Yes. Yeah, it does. And I think the lovely thing about the contestants we have on our show and the casting team that, you know, take all of the, uh, um, like, the auditioned entries that you, uh, you send in, I want to be on the show, they really make sure that everybody that's on it are worthy winners. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't want to hear somebody going, well, I had a, a holiday last month and I'll, I'll fancy another one next month. You go, what? I don't want to see you go on another holiday. But when somebody says, like, we had one contestant who said, I just need a new mattress. I need a new mattress for my kid and I need to fill my fridge. Yeah. And genuinely, it gives me goosebumps yeah. now because you go, wow, well, you... And you've won 40 grand. Yeah. And you deserve that. And you know for a fact it will mean Does so that much make you more. you a bit emotional sometimes? Genuinely, yeah. And I, I love it. Because normally, you know this, the shows I, I tend to do, I have a bit of a laugh in this. But this show actually delivers every sort of element. Yeah. Honestly, it's a brilliant, brilliant show. Talking about having a laugh, In For A Penny, yes. what's, which I love, as you know, I text you. Yeah, I know. I'm watching, yeah. it's so funny. Um, what's happening with that? Where are you Well, filming? we're filming it at the moment. So we were in Wales. We're in Newport in Wales uh, yesterday. I got back last night. Um, have you ever been to Newport? Don't I have, yes. Have you? Yes. Right, OK, so here we... I got in a taxi. I got out of the station, got in a taxi uh, to go to the, to the hotel, and I said to the taxi driver, I said, listen, just give us a bit of info about Newport. You know, what's it like? What's the best thing about Newport? He said, uh, I said, what do you think I should do? He said, go to Cardiff. <laughs> okay. but like Card Cardiff's only down the road. Yes, yeah. it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I didn't realise it was that close. But Newport, they delivered. It's there I love it because I'm continually surprised and love how people are up for doing the most ridiculous yeah. things and having fun, aren't they, getting squirted in cream and shoving their face yes. in spaghetti. And but, you know, it, the stuff that you're doing... Does it still surprise you? Well, the stuff that you're doing, roll, roll, uh, rolling in it, yeah. rolling in it and, 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 the, and that one... Um, 
is is like stuff people will be doing on their British seaside holiday exactly. anyway. Yeah. At the arcades, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know when you're talking about whether people do um, what we ask them to on in for a penny. You know, it does amaze me some of the stuff. What really gets me is when somebody's just covered in. <laughs> Dust, <laughs> well, you can imagine, and they do end up smelling quite bad, and then, and then they lose, and then they've got to walk Go back home. to work. <laughs> you know, or, or yeah, there was one... out my lunch break. <laughs> there was one guy who's literally said he's covered in everything. You can imagine he's done this. He's, he's destroyed himself, literally, <laughs> and lost his dignity at the same time. Yeah. And I go, so, so what were you doing today? When I was going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, a busy day for you tomorrow, not yes. only rolling in it uh, from half past six, new time tomorrow yes. night, uh, but also tomorrow morning from half past nine to half twelve, you're on Virgin Radio yeah. uh, in the Graham Norton slot. Yeah, Graham Norton, he's, he's taking a holiday, he's away for four weeks, and I'm lucky enough to take, take control of his show. So I'm live 9.30 tomorrow morning um, and on Sunday at 9.30 till 12.30 on Virgin Radio. Again, it's just something different, and I cannot brilliant. wait to do it. And the team there are, are brilliant. So, yeah. We will be tuning in. Oh, we will. Thank you. We will be tuning in, Steve. And when are you get me on Celebrity Catchphrase? Well, uh, listen, how many the times is, do I have to ask you? I'm, I'm telling you now, Seriously. Ruth. Seriously. I promise you, look, I'm going to say it on the telly now. Ruth is booked for Catchphrase. And now you can't get out of it either. I don't want to get out of it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just on the my same, own. The same catchphrase that you messed up, yeah, that no. we only went on because I said we would be no good in that, and you yeah. said, oh no, I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant <laughs> on this. I'm absolutely brilliant. <laughs> But she has a th she has a theory of why she was wrong. See the board because we had two people. No, that's what you kept complaining about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. See properly. Well, come on, rolling in it. Watch oh, it yeah. tomorrow night at six thirty, okay. and then text me right. if you fancy it. Yeah. You and Amy to see that would be a game. That would be, be a wow. game, wouldn't yeah. it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So, Steve, and also in for Graham Norton tomorrow morning. All I'll yeah. say, so all on Media, all I'll say to you is, um, don't mess it up, okay? Yeah, I'm big responsibility, no pressure, but like it's a big you know, deal, isn't it? He's a he's a, you know, he's the man. And, yeah, you know. Don't scare. I'm just boy. saying to him, boy. I'm just I, just saying. I did ask Graham, by the way, please don't buy me a really really expensive present and leave it at the studio no. tomorrow morning <laughs> to wish me luck. And he didn't. And he didn't. <laughs> and he didn't. We'll find out. <laughs> Stephen, always lovely to see you, and always great to see uh, you going from success to success. Thank, Thank you very you, much, Raymond. Steve. Thanks Thank you for your support.